Okay, let's go over this setup right here, guys and gals. Let's go over this setup. All right, we had a nice little sell signal. Let me get these arrows off. So good job, you members that post in the room that you got this sell. The short was right here. Got a volume flip, a little volume flip. What happened was, was the market was in a downtrend. What started off the rotation was a break retest, negative 404 market delta at the control point up here. That got it rolling. So then what we're going to do, we wanted the market to break through low value area, came through it. We wanted a natural retest up to low value area. And then we're going to look to short the market again right about here. We're going to try to short the market right around that level on a retest. What happens in weak markets is that we get sometimes a major buy imbalance in a downtrend when it's below LVA. It's got to be with trend. It's got to be outside of LVA or HVA to do this. So LVA was here. LVA was there. We're looking for a natural breakthrough LVA, retest continuation. What happens if you break and get a major market buy imbalance? Look at that 553, huge, huge 553. Major buy imbalance to give us a retest up to 85 to take another short on a retest of LVA at the time. LVA was right there at the time. Your entry is going to be this. If the next bar closes red, and the number is bigger than your green number against trend. That's called a little volume flip, we can call it, right? The volume just took out the sell volume, just took out the buy volume. So we got more committed sellers than more committed buyers in a downtrend. Your entry is a close of this bar. And that's how the members that posted in the room, they got short right there. They got short exactly right there at the open of that bar, the next bar. Once that closes, once this closes red, look at the volume, take it out. 553 was the buy imbalance to show the counter trend move up for the retest. But the next exact bar, we go over this all the time, went over so many times in 2016 where this happens with trend. Very easy setup to understand. If it closes and the number is larger than your counter trend buy imbalance, there's what trend, 801, large number. Open it up immediately at the close of this bar. Your stop loss is a small stop. Two ticks above that swing high. Our target, first position is off right now. The short was 69.70. It got below 50. So you're over $200 per one contract. You can sell 50% of your position. We're going to try to get to 53.30. We're going to try to get a $400 trade on the overall move down on a subsequent position. But that's what we call using market delta for a volume flip. to show the commitment to the downside, not the commitment to the upside, buyers versus sellers. And you get this because a natural rotation be is you break below low value area. It's right here at 85. Your natural rotation and downtrend break through LVA. Look at all my hundreds of videos, over 300 plus videos, the same setup. Hit LVA, retest, and then you look for a continuation. That's what happened over here earlier in the morning. See this right here in the black chart? Broke LVA. It retested my LVA, huge market delta sell there. That's what the natural rotation is. Break, retest LVA and downtrend. What happens is if the market gets too weak, if the market gets too weak and cannot retest, you may see a flip here. Look at the number. That's where the number is very important. All right? Make sure you understand that gold traders, you're almost at the first sell into the push gold traders it hit my buy zone right on my buy zone i projected that this morning buy zone it stopped 
All right, let's go over to gold real quick, Gerald. Here's my projected buy zone. Make sure you scale into the push. Here's my buy zone. I projected this here at 8.30 this morning. Price was up here. I projected a buy bounce right here in this buy zone. It stopped at the exact tick on my HBA, long-term HBA, 36.20. That's a low of the move. Sell into the push-up and see me get back to the HBA. Nice trade. Hit my buy target for you gold traders. That's how you can project things with market profile way ahead of time. These are not lagging indicators. Okay, that was over 45 minutes ago. I projected that buy bounce. It stopped at the exact tick at the high of the zone. You got to project where you're buying and selling based upon market profile. You just got to trade off these solid blue, red, and green. Those are the volume in the market. It gives major support and resistance. And then what we do, if we have any type of the small dotted lines, which are price-based, if they can blue, you can trade off of them to give a stack level. 